We are the heirs, and we're going to tell you some funny, awkward, and crazy tour stories from this summer so far. Uh, e, which one were you talking about? The first, the first tour date? Uh, oh, very first day of Warp Tour. Us having no clue what to expect in Warp Tour in general. Uh, we're setting up, and we have kind of a crazy like in-ear monitor system that we have to get set up, and it just wasn't working. Wasn't working. Wasn't working. We were. We've been like rehearsing for the past four months. We're like, okay, whatever. We'll just switch to wedges for today and figure it out tomorrow. Wedges are like little speakers that all the guys put their foots on when they're rocking out. Yeah. So uh, we switch, and in the last five seconds, right before we get on stage, while we're all like pulling our hair out, like yes, freeze free, free good. teeth yeah. just like gnarling out, like yeah. we're foaming at the mouth. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, they yelled at a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, Alex was just having months. like he was going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex uh, was kind of like the drama, the drama. Like, oh, he's really, not, no, no, not no, drama, no, 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 like he, passion, 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 passion. Alex, Alex is the one who knows the most about our anger rig, so he was the most frustrated because he had no clue what was going on. Yeah. We eventually figured it out, and it was something that we had never experienced before. But anyway, five seconds before we get on stage, in ears start working again, and we're just like, holy crap! Like now we can play our show as usual. Yeah. Except we were all like now coming down from this stressed out. It was still probably the worst show of tour, but it was still funny. Yeah. Uh, another one that was pretty funny was um, I jumped down into the crowd the other day to high five fans and such, and I accidentally went and high fived a fan, and her arm was was kind of towards her face, and I totally just whacked her in the head. I felt super bad about that. So if you're watching this, I apologize. And uh, <laughs> also, you know, we, like, we make yeah we make like indie rock, indie pop music, and that's usually not something that people mosh to. And we did have our first mosh pit. Uh, in Minneapolis, or where was it? Yeah, Minneapolis. Yeah. There was one morning um, when me and me and Saucy typically wake up a little bit before these other two guys, yeah. and we went to use the, the porta potties. And I was in mine, and I was and Saucy's like, are a photographer. Yes, there he is. Right here. <laughs> um, and he was like in the one next to me, or like two down, and I hear like a machine pull up, and then like starts like picking up porta potties and taking them away, and I get out. And then, like, as I'm walking back towards the bus, Saucy's getting out of a border body that's, like, not in the same place anymore. It's, like, over there. And he was just, like, really flustered. And he was, like, I just got what picked up by a forklift in my porta body. He's, like, like, I was yelling. Yeah. I was yelling at them. <laughs> the hey, says, someone's in here. <laughs> the door says red, not green. Uh, yeah, that was a funny one. Oh. I have a good one. Uh, us three, we do the lines in the morning. Like, we go out and sing with the lines and then invite everyone to come to our show. And then all of us kind of do the lines when people are leaving. And this one night, um, we were all outside. It was a long day, and you know, we're all kind of tired, and we're selling our CD to this, this, these two people, and the boys leave to go get changed, and I'm like, hey, it's a boy and a girl. And I'm like, oh, cool, Like, so what's the situation here? Like, father, daughter, or what? And they're like, no, we're dating, and I was just like, I'm so sorry. He's like, do I look that old? And then the girl got all weird. We came over and it got super. And awkward. they came over. And we I was came like, over and the hair was just dead. We were I like, was like, yeah. you need to help me because I just <laughs> made a really big mistake. <laughs> that was really embarrassing. Brand, what was, what was it? If you're watching, we're sorry. If you're, if you're watching, I'm sorry. You don't look that old. We were playing a show and these this, this girl had like a ball that she kept throwing up to the stage, like to for us to like. Like one of those like air ball, air balls or whatever, air balls. Air ball. beach um, ball? Yeah, like a beach ball. And she beach like ball. threw it. She threw it to the stage, ball. and it, it was right by my feet. So I was like, oh, I'll kick it when the chorus hits. And I kick it, and it just hits the person right yeah. in the front, like right. In the face. Oh, that happened to me yesterday or two days so ago. So bad. Like she was just like, oh, and I was just like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Whenever we play like a really good show where I feel like the crowd is really into it, I'll try try to do like the cool guy thing and like throw guitar picks afterwards. And two days ago, I threw one and hit a guy dead in the forehead and he just looked dazed but then he looked yeah. at me and was like all right these are kind of like the like like weird issues yeah. that happen yeah. like it was super awkward so but i felt kind of so yeah like it. the things yeah. you think that people in bands don't really care about but we're all like oh my god this is bad yes yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i feel like throwing throwing a drumstick would be way worse oh yeah if you had to like hit like, accidentally hit someone you gotta make sure people a lot of times on on, on yeah. tour some of our most sentimental moments have come from us just like Dimming the lights late at night, all feeling really good and hanging out and dancing and listening to music here. A couple nights ago, I was like 
get my underwear dancing on top of this thing. And uh, you know, we all just have a really good time. This tour has been crazy. I wish we could go through all the memories, but I think it would take up all the data. It would take up all, all your data. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you guys can check us out at uh, theairsmusic.com. We have all of our tour dates, information, photos, and good shit there. And, and hopefully uh, this will be on there soon. Yeah. And then you can find us at the Airs Music on social media. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next tour.